Hi, my name is Lily and welcome to Flynn Fit Leg Exercises. This is level one. For this level, I'm gonna have you sit up in a chair or you can even sit up right in at the edge of your bed. Just make sure you come close to the edge so you have enough range to do these exercises. So for the first exercise, I want you to cross your unaffected side on top of your affected side, okay? You can use your affected hand and put it right on top of the knee and with your unaffected hand, push down through your knee until you feel like you're really putting weight on that leg, okay? There you go, good. Now if it's not enough, I want you to lean forward and do a little more. There we go, good job. Now let me have you bring your leg back. And now instead of crossing your unaffected side, I want you to bring your affected leg up and put it right on top of your knee, okay? Now, I want you to lean forward and you're gonna feel a nice stretch right in your gluteal muscles and also your hip. The more you lean forward, the more you feel it in your hip, okay? Now, just be careful when you do this exercise that you have enough core strength to be able to do this. Okay, there we go, good job. Now, let's take advantage that your leg is up here and we're gonna do some exercises with your ankle. So the first thing I'm gonna have you do, so I'm gonna have you bring your toes up and down in this motion like that. Okay, we're gonna do two sets of 10. You ready? One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, relax. Let's do one more set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Good job, relax. So now instead of going up and down, I want you to bring your ankle to the sides in this motion right here. Make sure you really see your ankle moving, okay? Here we go, two sets of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more, 10, good job. Let's do one more set, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, relax. Now for this next one, I'm gonna have you do some circles with your ankle. You can actually do this clockwise or you can do it counterclockwise, it's up to you. But since we're gonna do two sets, let's do one set each. So let's start clockwise. So something like this. Are you ready? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Now let's do it counterclockwise. Are you ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10, good job. Now let me have you use your unaffected side to bring your affected leg down, good job. Now for the next exercises, I'm gonna have you use a towel. A towel if you're gonna be doing this exercise on tile or you can use a magazine if you're gonna be doing them on carpet, okay? So make sure your foot is right on top. The first exercise that I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you move your leg in and out in this manner, okay? Make sure your knee is bent. Make sure it's not here or too much here. It's relaxed in a 90 degree position, okay? So let's begin. We're gonna do two sets of 10. Use your unaffected side to bring your leg in and out. One, one, two, two, 
three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, one more, ten, and ten. There you go. And the reason why I'm counting one, one, two, two is because two different motions are happening at your hip. We call them internal rotation and external rotation. So it's not like you're doing twice of the same thing. No, they're completely different. So let's do one more set. You ready? Here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, good job, seven, eight, eight, two more, nine, nine, one more, you're almost done, ten, and ten, Ooh, that was a good one, now instead of going to the sides, this time I will have you extend your leg forward and back, but once again, I want you to use your unaffected side if you're unable to do it on your own and it's very important that if you feel like you can do as much as you can on your own okay are you ready here we go two sets of ten. One and two three four five six Seven, eight, two more, nine, good job, one more, ten, very nice, take a little break, we're going to do it one more time, once again, you want to try to do all these exercises as much as you can on your own, if you must, you can use your hand to give you a little lift, but don't do too much, don't depend so much on your unaffected side to do things with your affected side. Are you ready? Let's do one more set. Here we go. One and two, three, four, good job, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and one more, ten, good job. Now for the next ones, we can go ahead and get rid of the magazine or the towel, whatever you're using, okay? I'm going to have you lift your knee up, keep your knees straight. You're going to be going on this motion right here. This is working on your hip flexors, okay? Very, very important muscles. So you can go ahead and hold it for a little bit and then relax, okay? Let's do two sets of 10. Here we go. One and two, three four, five, six, seven, good job, eight, nine, and ten, good job. Now for the next set, I'm going to hold it a little bit longer, okay? You ready? Here we go. One, relax, two, Three, good job. And four, relax. Five, six, I'm getting tired, but you can do this. Good job. Seven, three more, eight, nine, one more, good job. And relax. For this exercise, you can actually use your other foot or you can also use a towel if you're unable to do with your foot you can use a towel wrap it around your ankle and lift or you can actually use a cane if you have one okay but in this case we're just gonna use the foot so let me have you bring your unaffected side hook that foot under your affected side and you're gonna point your toes up as much as you can towards the ceiling and back down here we go one and two, three, four, five, six, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. And relax. Good job. You did wonderful. We'll see you next time. Level two.